Welcome back everyone, I'm Jewel and we're in the Giants Editor today and we're doing some tutorials on map making for Farming Simulator 19. This is the Giants Editor and what I'm going to show you is how to put your career start point and the gameplay uh, transform group which is going to basically be where the vehicles and tractors and equipment and all the stuff you purchase loads into the game at which would normally be at the shop the vehicle shop which would be on a map that we've already put a building at and we would already put this there but in this case you want to put it wherever you're working in the map if you're map making you don't want it way over here when you need stuff over here so that's why it's here so if I'm working over there I need to put it over here so that I can go ahead and purchase whatever I need from the store and be right here where I'm working so if I'm putting something here and I need to test something I want it where I need to be at so what we're gonna do is pretend that we just which we already did actually in, in the previous episode if you've watched it already we did a trigger here for the wood chips we did a another trigger over here for the trees and the wood to sell the sell points and I'm gonna do one on the the biogas show you that uh, how to do the trigger setup but when you do the trigger setup you need to be able to sell the trees you need to be able to have a tree to cut down you're gonna need uh, for the wood chips you're gonna need to be able to buy the chipper and all that and you don't want to have to drive from way over there where the where the old sell point was I mean the old vehicle place was uh, shop to drive over here to do it so what you're going to want to do is move it where you're working on and the map so like if you just finished putting the trigger in you don't want to leave all that where it was you want to put the the gameplay over here you want to put the career start point over here so that you're not walking 100 miles to get to where you need to be so what you're going to do is highlight the career start point and in our case it's right here but say we want it over here by where we're going to test for wood uh, selling the wood so you're going to hit control B as in boy hold it down then click over there and click again right over there so you, you've double clicked but you've done it one at a time you're not like double clicking fast you just click then click alright so now this is where we are so we, we can back it up a little bit and we'll start right there we're facing this way wherever the blue arrow is that's where you'll face so we're going to be facing this and that's where our sell point is that's where our trigger is for the for the for the logs for trees so what we can do now is when we come in the game that's where we're, we'll start and we'll be able to buy uh, a chainsaw and we'll be able to cut that tree down and then pick a piece up and throw it right in there and test it and that makes it easy we don't have to run anywhere we're all right there we've already put our tree in make sure you put a tree there I have a video already out showing you how to to import a tree export and import a tree so check that video out if you don't know how put it put it where you need to when you're testing your triggers I already have a video out about the triggers check that video out I have one out about the wood chips check it out now on the wood chip one you need to have the vehicles you don't just need the career start point which you do need to move because you're going to want it where you're working so we're going to move it it's already highlighted leave it highlighted we're going to hit control B and put it over here and now we're going to turn hit it again left click and then turn it facing that way so we'll be facing right there when we come in the, in the game so now we need to get the gameplay moved so see this we're going to move it now in our case it's here but it was way over here so we're going to move it I'm going to pretend like I move it um, over here but really you would actually probably put it over here uh, but anyway you're going to hit control B I'll just put it right next to where it's at to show you, you can move it control B see and it moved it so then you would click it left click again and it's and it finalizes it so you can slide it over put it where you want alright so now that's there now you need to go down click to the next one it's fine it's, it's here then you're gonna click down to the next one and see where it's at and of course it's there too click here that's there that's fine click click that one it's there that's fine if they weren't there 
say that this one was way off over here or way off over there you're going to want to put it near where this other piece was that you put there so you're going to want to hit control b and you can put it say right there so whenever well it moved but let's move it back there control b left click so now the vehicles or the equipment is going to load in right here and it's going to run that way all right so now you need to click on the second one and do the same thing control B but put it a little further away because that's the second row of vehicle and equipment then you're gonna click on the third one actually I didn't let go of it you gotta click it twice let me make sure yeah it's there so now you're gonna move the third one control B you're gonna put it a little further back and you're gonna click it again so left click left click alright so now you check them that one's there this one's here number three is over there so now you have all of those in place all the vehicles are going to be moving from whichever direction uh, you do need to check the direction usually I think it moves to the red side starts here and moves that way if not whatever way it's moving it might move this way so you would might need to turn it if test it in game see which way it's fake which way they loading in and then put the put it facing which way you want your vehicles to load in like each time you buy a tractor and all that equipment so once you do that you need to save the game and it'll be right where you put it and so you'll be ready to test whatever it is you need to test in the game and then you would just open up the game and I already have a video showing you how to cheat in money for testing purposes or you know if you want to cheat in money to play the game fine but mostly map makers do it to test their stuff without having to save up money to try to buy what they need to, to test this trigger out so check out that video on how to te uh, get money in the in the map and uh, get your money in the map and then come in and test it because then you need to see if it lands here and everything's good and you're if it sh if it works right you should land right where everything is actually I'll go ahead and show you let's go ahead and show you uh, I'll re-show you the, ch the money cheat again, uh, but if you want to watch it in a, a shorter video, just check out the other video I made. Alright, so career, you pick an empty slot, 15. Remember which one you choose. An empty save game, 15. So continue, pick the pit map that you choose, which is going to be this one for me. Whatever map you want money in, pick that one. Whichever map you're actually working on and you, is one you need to pick. Uh, so now we're in here and we're where I said I would be pointing that way and then the tractor stuff is all going to come in over here in the equipment but right now what I need I might not even need it let me test it and see if I can buy it without that without owning the land is what I'm talking about if I don't need to own the land then this you don't need to buy do the money cheat for this test all right so let's just pick a tractor well, obviously it has to be a tractor I can afford. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Small tractor. We'll lease it. Give us this tractor. We'll lease you. Thank you. Go back. Go back. Alright. Is it there? Yeah. Okay, so we don't need to own the land to, to have that there. So that we don't need any money for that. But if you wanted to test it and you didn't have enough money, that's what you would have to do the money cheat. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and hit P again and buy another tractor. Buy this one, lease it. Okay, go back and show you where it's. Okay, now see that's where it's next to it. So you can see it was pointing that way. So that's how you would test it, and then they would just keep lining up, and then they would move over to that next one, and so on. So that's how you would check it. And of course, since you have this already moved, this is here, and it works, and you would hit R. And you could buy it that way. So that's the shop stuff. And of course you would build your shop. Put your shop wherever you want it. And that's where you would put all these icons and things. So that shows you how to use the gameplay vehicle shop uh, equipment uh, icon. And how to get it to, to load wherever your vehicle shop would be. Which I could put one right there. A big building. And then everything would line up. And would have a parking lot. And then you have your roads and everything else. And that's how you do it. And then now that you have it where you can do your gameplay. You can jump in a vehicle. Drive it over here with your wood chipper on the back. That you just bought. 
and test it and dump it in there and see if your trigger works but you can see that in the other video I did and that's how you would keep your vehicles close to where you're working you can move that gameplay again if you're way over there so you don't have to drive from here all the way over there to test something so that's the easiest way to get stuff tested in your map without driving miles and miles just move the career start point and move the gameplay uh, and the, and you need to move each part of the gameplay uh, into that area because sometimes it might be floating in the air or something and you don't want tractors falling from the sky unless you do all right but thanks for watching hope you enjoyed there's going to be more map making tutorials for farming simulator 19 and eventually for farming simulator 22 and some of these apply to farming simulator 22 anyway so just check it and see and if it works great but thanks for watching thanks for all the new subscribers appreciate it if you like the video hit the like button subscribe turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time i post a video catch you on the next one goodbye everybody